Hi, I'm Dan with Inside Calibration. We will be doing a uh, front forwarding camera calibration on this 2017 Audi A7 and we'll be just showing you the importance of bringing this back to factory specs after a windshield has been replaced. Uh, in calibration, there's two types of calibration. Actually, there's three. There's a combination of two. Um, the first one is a static calibration. And a static calibration actually uses targets, where a dynamic calibration is actually when you drive the car, you look into the system, the uh, calibration equipment talks to it and tells it to learn the situation so that it can be calibrated on the road. Then there's the third type of calibration, which actually uses a static, which we do with the targets, and then we actually then have to drive it afterwards. The first one with the targets has to be done first, and then you are able to drive the car, and it takes all that information into one to be a full calibration. The first step is to hook up your J-Box into the OBD2 um, so that we can pull information to pre-scan the vehicle for any codes. We will be conducting a uh, pre-scan of the whole system to see if there is any faults. After the pre-scan is done, make sure that there is no fault codes in any of the ADAS functions because that will prevent from uh, calibrating. So once we're done with uh, the pre-scan, we will go over and do our calibration. And uh, these are all the features that we can calibrate on here. We've got lane change, we've got adaptive cruise control, we've got camera systems, got night vision, we got onboard camera, and adaptive cruise control. What we're going to be doing is the front forward camera since the windshield has been replaced. Um, as you can see right here, uh, repaired or replaced the front windshield, it will need calibration. These are the items that we're going to need, and we will do a setup on our calibration machine. Uh, what John will be doing is he will be um, setting up the wheels, the wheel clamps with the lasers. First thing we'll do is check the air and tires and make sure there's nothing in the wheel yeah. joints going to be weighing down. Okay. That's going to mess up our measurements. Should have 31 pounds in the front and 38 in the back. What we did is we did wheel height so that we can say how level the car is so that when the computer goes, it communicates with the system so the camera knows where the board is. And what we'll do now is we'll go into a post scan to determine that all the values are good. Been correct. The calibration was successful.